Happy Bowtie Friday! Today we're going to do something really fun. We're going to pull up an old game of mine and we're going to uh, run it on XDI, which is a side chain, low, low value side chain. So uh, this is Galleass. It's at Galleass.io. It's one of the very first games I built. It's it's one of those like things uh, that taught me so many lessons about onboarding and about uh, being too into a project to not be able to see what's going on around you, right? Like sometimes you have to throw away a project and you have to move on and you have to find things that are more uh, effective and find things that the ecosystem need more, more of. And uh, Galleas was like my love build. I just built this really cool thing and spent a lot of time hand painting these graphics and making this really cool ecosystem and no one cared. <laughs> <laughs> but let's play it on XDI for fun, right? Okay, so this this code was written two years ago. These smart contracts are super old. They're probably, uh, you could easily exploit them. But when you land here, it's kind of like this, uh, like, island world, right? Everything is in a smart contract. Even the clouds are in a smart contract. They're just they're just an event that fires that says that this cloud was right here at this time and it's moving in this direction at this speed and from then on you can just calculate where where it is. But the first thing we get is this message from the fishmonger and he's telling us that we can uh basically we want to go to the harbor, we want to buy a dogger which is a fishing boat which we will do. Uh, oh no, we don't have any X die. Okay, so how do we get X die? Right? Okay, first, first bad part of onboarding is you have to have X die to be able to play. Right? Maybe there should be some meta transactions in here or something. Pay for the gas for a while. But I'm gonna take my burner wallet and I'm going to send this dude some X die. Uh, well, look, little purpley guy lines up. Okay, let's see. Let's send this guy a nickel. Right? Have a nickel, Sonny. Cool, sending, sending, sending. We should see some, uh, there we go. It says 0.05 ETH because this was built for ETH, but it is on a side chain. So that was, so that is a nickel. I sent myself a nickel. I'm gonna buy a boat for how much? Point, I think it's 0 0.001. Yes, so a tenth of a penny is what a dogger costs you. All right, and, and I know uh, that the dogger is built at a harbor using two pieces of timber, and timber is an ERC twenty. So there's timber and stone and uh, uh, all these like kind of like settlers of Catan type uh, resources. Then then you've got uh, all these fish like danglers and pinners and red bass and snarks, and uh, they're all ERC twenties. The 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 dogger itself is an ERC seven twenty one. So I can click here and I can even see that like here's Here's the dogger contract. Here's my dogger. Here's the strength, the speed, the luck. I think I just left a... There we go. So I'm going to basically... Now, I own the ERC721. It's, it's in my possession now, but I'm going to send it to the harbor who's going to put it into the bay. And the bay is this water down here, and that is a smart contract itself. So once my ship goes into the bay, then I'm going to start issuing transactions to the bay, telling it how to move my ship around, right? So I'm going to issue a transaction telling it to put the sails up, pointing in the left direction. So, so I'm going to send one transaction, it puts my sails up, there they go, and now I'm sailing on the blockchain. So each time a block is mined now on XDI, my ship will move its speed in its direction. So with that one transaction, we can calculate where my ship is. And it's just going to travel along here until it shows back up on the other side and it'll just keep going around and around in the world. Okay, cool. So now we issue another command to drop anchor. And once we drop anchor, we can cast out and try to catch a fish. So I see that red bass down there. Maybe we'll try to catch him. But what, what's going to happen is it's going to be a commit reveal. So we are going to uh, come up with a reveal, and we're going to hash it, and we're going to put a hash on chain first, and that's going to be bait, right? So we need to catch fish. So we're going to cast out our bait, and then we'll reel in using our reveal and the fish that we're trying to catch, and it'll produce a random number, and if that random number is larger than the distance to the fish, so you can catch fish easier as they're closer to you, then you'll catch it. All right, a lot of transactions, a lot of MetaMask here. Let's see what happens. Uh, waiting on MetaMask to sync up. 
Any time now. There's a block. There goes a block. There we go. We caught that red bass. Cool. So we can go look at that red bass. We can see, uh, we could sell it to the fishmonger. It's just an ERC 20. Here's the contract. We could uh, send it to someone. But uh, yeah, let's, let's go to the fishmonger and sell him that red bass. Cool. And uh, you can see the transaction down here. You could follow it on Block Scout if you wanted, but that's going to turn green. We're going to see our red bass disappear up here in our inventory and uh, hopefully be replaced by four copper. Waiting on you, MetaMask. Waiting on you. There it is. Awesome. Cool. All right, what can we do with our four copper now, right? So let's go look at this tile. Oh, it's going to cost five land. Darn it, I'm going to have to catch another fish. No one's got time for that. But once you've started catching fish and selling them, then you start accruing copper. And copper can be used to purchase tiles. It, there's also like kind of this whole economy that has to happen, right? So let's say I purchase this forest tile. It's going to start generating timber. Then I have to take the timber, so whoever owns the harbor has to have timber because they need to use the timber. To, it takes two timber to build a dogger. So if new people land on Galeasta IO and they want to take a dogger out for a spin to catch some fish, they, that needs to be built uh, at the harbor by a craftsman. So whoever owns it needs to have all these resources and have everything ready so then as people come in they can buy those. So lots of fun tokens, lots of cool smart contracts. This is Galias. Jump on, uh, try it out. You can, uh, you can see the whole world here. Uh, you can catch some fish. It's all on XDI. Send me some feedback. This is just an old game of mine that taught me a lot about uh, how far we have to go before we make really great user experience on Ethereum. Awesome. Thank you. Happy Bowtie Friday. Check, check out Galeas.io. Catch some fish. Have some fun. Thanks for coming along.